Hello, I'm Dr. Jalen Ricks. I am a religious abuse survivor and author of X Gay No Way Survival and Recovery from Religious Abuse. The X Gay movement has been around for quite a while now, and for those of us, of us who have been through it, you know, we're not all that surprised when every so often it pops up in the media as a complete fraud. So take it from a voice of experience, here are three facts you need to know about so-called conversion therapy. The first one is, the ex-gay movement is not therapy. For a long time now, psychological organizations have seen the ex-gay movement, that's what they were originally called, the ex-gay movement, and they've asked them, so you say you can change people from gay to straight, so show us how you do it. Show us the therapeutic process or the methods that you do to change people from gay to straight. And to this date, there has never been a single piece of research that has shown that their methods even work. They are really good at getting the media and the public to call them so-called conversion therapy, but there is no therapeutic process. I'm even uncomfortable calling it conversion therapy because it kind of legitimizes something that doesn't even exist. That's why I use the term so-called conversion therapy. I have a friend who says conversion therapy is neither. It ain't converting anybody and it ain't a therapy either. And that brings us to the second fact and what they really are. The ex-gay movement is an extreme religious ministry. Consider this, I have yet to meet any ex-gay leader who is atheist. That's interesting, isn't it? This is a group of people who believe that God has told them homosexuality does not belong anywhere in God's perfect order. That's a pretty scary idea. In fact, most mainstream religions have now distanced themselves from these extreme ministries because so many of their tactics and methods are cult-like. These are very dangerous and damaging beliefs indeed. And that brings us to the last fact you need to know. The ex-gay movement does far greater harm than any good. Imagine if you were confused and vulnerable about your sexuality and someone came to you and said, you know, your experience of sexuality is completely invalid. Uh, in fact, it's broken and God wants to cut it out and erase it. And I'm now going to impose my ideas and beliefs about sexuality on you. And if you don't do exactly as I say, well, then you're going to burn in hell. Not only is this a kind of sexual abuse, it is spiritual abuse as well. Take it from the thousands of people who have been through this ordeal. This is not healthy. It is abuse. Under the leadership of these so-called ministries, people have experienced self-loathing, self-destructive behavior, coercion, trauma, even suicide. You know, if this was a pharmaceutical company that promised a little pill to change you from gay to straight, they would now have their asses sued off of them for fraud. People would be going to jail for the damages that they've caused. But because it's, a, it's got ministry status, you know, it's not so psychological now, it's got ministry status, they can get away with murder. But you know better now. Don't be fooled by their extreme religi religiosity, all dressed up, psychological-like. And if you are struggling with your sexuality, you are not broken. You are not alone. I and many others want to accept and support you. Reach out and you will find love and acceptance and compassion. Thanks for listening.